Hello, my name is Germana Ravinelli. I run and own a business called Heart Consulting. I'm a certified uh, personal trainer with over 30 years experience as a paid professional in the industry. And I'm very grateful that uh, I've been in this industry for that long. I've seen a lot, I've learned a lot, I've seen a lot of people succeed, and I've um, seen a number of people um, do some things that just cause them nothing but grief. So the topic that I'm going to share with you today is three steps to getting fit and staying healthy. Three steps that are simple, they make sense, it's like a one, two, three strategy to help you um, look after your body and avoid the many pitfalls that I would say about 80% of the population fall into simply because they're motivated, um, which is great, but they lack a plan. There's a way that it's said, um, you fail to plan, you plan to fail, and failure can look like injury, failure can look like lack of motivation, failure can look like poor results, and uh, the list goes on. So the number one step is to make a decision that I'm, you know, that you're going to decide, okay, I'm going to look after my body. Maybe, um, you know, you've come up against a birthday. Maybe you've come up against, uh, we're going to get married or you're going to someone's wedding or you're going to a high school reunion, or maybe it's even the New Year's Eve uh, time where you're like, oh my God, I've put on this weight. What's happened? I can't believe it. And now you're wanting to get rid of the weight. So the number one um, step is to make a decision that you're ready to commit and no less than six months of a commitment to start to give your body a chance to come back to get healthy again. Most of us are so, so, so stressed. We've, um, we're nutritionally deficient. Our body has atrophied. We've put on weight. We're insulin resistant. We've got blood sugar issues. Um, we've got immune issues. Um, the immune systems, um, defunct because of uh, poor food and poor lifestyle choices repetitively and eventually the body just takes too many hits and it can't function anymore so you've got to give yourself at least six months so there's a decision then there's the plan what becomes the plan my suggestion to you is that you um, get some income that you're willing to dedicate to your health to putting into your um, your plan. So whether that's hiring a personal trainer, if you get one, get a qualified one that's been in the industry for perhaps no less than eight years. Um, the first few years that a trainer gets out there, you're their guinea pig and you're paying for it. They don't know a lot because the training is so, so it's, you know, they give you this little tiny bit of knowledge and then the application becomes the challenge. And uh, we can't teach you what we don't know. and We don't know what we don't know. It's not our fault. We learn through time and experience in the saddle. So you want to have a teacher who can give you structure that keeps your body safe and functionally training. So in the beginning, the first 12 weeks is when you're most likely to get hurt. So you want a program that gives you a base, a foundation to build upon so that your body is ready for that next level, whether you're wanting to go into um, a marathon, whether you want to go into a fitness or a figure or a bodybuilding show, or whether you're really attracted to say the CrossFit program, which is a very intense program that nobody that is brand new has any business being in. The chance of injury is insane because the, there's no foundation there. Unless you're super young and you're super fit, you don't belong in those programs up front. You need that 12 weeks of foundation. It actually takes eight weeks for your muscles to get stronger and 12 weeks for the connective tissue that connects your muscle to bone and your bone to bone to get stronger for the next load. You might feel that you're ready to go harder after eight weeks, but your connective tissue is not. And again, that's that, I call it the baby chick stage. That first 12 weeks is when you're most likely to get hurt without a proper program, without um, guidance. And that's why there's an industry with fitness professionals. Um, the next thing you want to really, really recognize is that you need to be mentally and psychologically prepared that there will be setbacks. What does a setback look like? Life drives up and you're too busy to work out for a week. You don't go the next workout and try to make up for the whole week because that will absolutely devastate your body. Um, another setback can be um, injury. Injury is pretty common, believe it or not. Um, if you're challenging your body in a way it's not used to and you cross the line or say the program design isn't quite 
been been modified or personalized for you, you run the risk of something blowing up. Can you work around an injury? Absolutely. I would say about 50% of my clients come in and they have injuries they don't even know that they have and I just watch the way they move and I go, oh, did you have a car accident? Oh, did you hurt your ankle? Oh, you know, is there something wrong with your shoulder? Does your neck bother you? Do you have headaches? And I can tell just by how they move. So then my job is to design the program with modifications and personalize it so that their body is being challenged without hurting them more and actually rebalancing and creating symmetry to the body so that it is symmetrically developed. You know, that takes a little bit of, of knowledge and it also, it takes patience for the client and it also takes a trainer who's looking at the client who can see how they're moving and knows what they're looking at and how to give exercises to progress you so that your body gets fitter, stronger, but not so fast that you get hurt but that you are being stimulated and you're being challenged. And that's really important because that's what makes it fun. That's what sees, you can see progress. You also feel and can see that there's something changing here with you and your body. And um, so you need to prepare for things like setbacks. You need to prepare for things like injury and, and even getting sick. You know, that does happen. And there are things you can do to prevent, you know, getting sick as often. One is um, eating, um, a nutrient-dense diet, which is very, very important, and staying away from um, foods of commerce, which are packaged foods and uh, sugar and um, margarine and uh, artificial sweeteners and things like that. Believe it or not, um, the foods of commerce have really, really created generations of nutrient-deficient people, and uh, those people are actually starving and they're eating synthetic food and what we need to do as a population to avoid illness is to go back to mother nature, go back to local farms, eat food that um, our great 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 ancestors ate and don't be afraid of eating fat. Uh, as a personal testimony, the more that I realized um, how to balance food so that the body would lose weight, um, without doing a ton of cardio, without being a slave to exercise and started to introduce um, natural fats and aw avoid foods that spike insulin. I lost 18 pounds in two weeks like that. Um, I wasn't trying to, it was just a byproduct of it. But it taught me how powerful food is. It has a drug-like effect on the body and the brain. And when people get into sugar, it has the same um, effect on the prefrontal cortex is morphine, which is why people are addicted to carbohydrates and sugars. And I'm not an anti-carbohydrate person. I just like to educate people to say, this body of yours is a gift. Um, you need to want to look after it and take a little bit of time now to look after it and understand and educate yourself how to get the most of it, how to care for it so that as you go forward in life and go through the aging process that you're living in a happy body not a body that's diseased and ill. Illness is normal, it's part of the process but there are things you can do to prevent your body from being there and staying there for so long. So we've got two, two steps so far. You make a decision, you have a plan, you get a teacher. Have a teacher, someone who can hold your hand and guide you through it. Even if you see the teacher once a week, it's a whole lot better than falling off the bandwagon or being injured or not getting results. Um, you want to make sure that your teacher is not someone that pushes steroids, pushes cleanses, pushes fad diets. Don't do that. Those are dangerous. They do not give you long-term results and eventually you'll just become a statistic. Um, the second step is to prepare for setbacks, prepare for things like that, injury, illness, what have you. Whenever I prepare for um, a natural bodybuilding show, um, and I've done a number of them, and I've won first place a number of times, thank you to my trainers that I hired, um, as I would always make sure to add an extra month onto my training regime for injury and illness, because it happens. And uh, that just takes the pressure off. I'm not saying that it's everyone's journey, but not to be surprised if it, if it visits you. Now the third step is to hang around with people who support you, who uh, have challenged themselves, who have um, made a decision to live a better life. 
who have maybe done things that you'd like to do, who are yes people. I can do it people. You want to hang out with those people because they will pull you up when your mind tells you you can't. They will support you when you're going through a dark time. They will um, tell you that this too shall pass when you're going through a rough time. You want to hang out with people that are successful in the areas that you want to be successful and perhaps they're more successful than you. There's an old saying, show me who your friends are and I'll show you who you are. Um, you want to watch out because misery loves company. If you tell someone who is inactive that you're getting into a fitness program and that you're going to look after your body and that you care about your body and they don't, they will find a way to rip that rug from underneath your feet as quickly as possible because they don't want to see you succeed because they won't let themselves succeed. So you share your decision and your passion and your commitment with people who are also living the lifestyle and you're more likely to be living that lifestyle six months later, one year later, three years later and then you become the inspiration for somebody else and uh, you know that's called saving you know um, the planet one person at a time and we can't help other people unless we help ourselves. You first. So you want to also avoid the weekend warrior thing. That's where people haven't trained for months and then they go out and they're going to wail and nail it. And uh, those people often end up going to the physio, going to the chiropractor, going to the massage therapist, limping along, and they're damaged. And they've set themselves back up to two to three months because some of the injuries um, that happen take weeks and months to heal. And if it's your feet or your back, you need to relearn how to have that relationship with that part of your body and still stay um, working and moving and functioning. I myself have um, had, believe it or not, this is insane, 14 car accidents. So I know all about working around injury and learning how to move properly. And in one way, first it was you know a horrible thing and then later it became a blessing because it taught me how to help other people that have injury that want to train create a foundation, and then fly whatever it is that they want to do because that's what I had to learn in order to stay gainfully employed as a fitness trainer for 30 years. So I've seen a lot um, and I know when it's time to refer out. I know when somebody's needs exceed my skill and I'm like, I have a really good physiotherapist. I have a wonderful massage therapist. And for people that are comfortable with chiropractics, I have a number of chiropractors that I really, really admire and respect their work. My belief is that when you see one of these people, that they teach you how to not need them. So you're not dependent, you're not going forever and ever. That they give you exercises that you do, or that you take some time to rest more so your body can heal. So you want to avoid the weekend warrior thing. You need to have a plan where say you're doing resistance training, which is strength training with your body weight and or free weights and or balls, BOSUs, kettlebells, things like that, um, three times a week and uh, cardio two times a week if you can. If you're watching your diet and you really know how to balance your blood sugar and stop the insulin surges, you will lose weight without being a slave to exercise. Exercise is kind of like, you know, brushing your teeth. You do it because it's important. And uh, the best thing is, is when you exercise and eat well, you end up with a body that is physiologically younger than you are in your chronological years. You can end up with a body that is 20 years younger if you adopt and keep um, an exercise regime. Hire a professional if you have the budget. If you don't, see the professional once a month. That's usually affordable for people. Stop going to Starbucks. There's your 50 or $60 for the session. Um, and if you can manage and learn about blood sugar and keep that under control and reintroduce the foods that your great, great, great um, ancestors were living off of, you can get another 20 years of quality living out of your body. There is no greater um, wealth than being healthy. All the money in the world won't help you if your body is done. So I'm going to encourage you, follow the steps, again, make a decision have a plan, get a professional to help you so you're not winging it. You know, that is so important. Uh, fitness changed my life and so I love to help people, but they need to also be realistic in what they expect their body to do um, in a period of time and six months is reasonable. 
um, prepare for setbacks. Prepare for something to happen where you miss a week of training. Um, prepare that injury is not abnormal. Sickness is not abnormal. They can all be um, mitigated by learning certain things and working around them, but it is part of life. And then hang out with people that you want to be like, and then you'll be like them, and your life will get better. Fitness is a very, very powerful form of therapy. It reduces depression, it reduces insomnia, it uh, reduces anxiety, um, and it really changes your outlook. You're actually getting high on endorphins that your brain releases that makes you feel great. Sleep better, feel better, look better, it's a win-win. So I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this. Um, if you would like to contact me, my website again is Heart Consulting, or you plug my first name in the search engine, G-E-R-M-A-N-A. -A. My phone number is 250-591-5327. And I do and have done Skype work with people that are distant, that just feel that I'm the person for them. And if not, look for someone who has well over eight years of um, certified training, that they're not the greenhorn trainer in the gym. They don't pay those people well. They don't have the extra funding to get extra education to know what is ideal that they know to help you make the most out of every minute that you dedicate to your health. So thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.